Praise God. Welcome. We're looking at Romanesco, which is the sixth piece of the St. Croix River sketches. Romanesco refers to the chord progression, a traditional Spanish chord progression. It goes like this. B minor, A, G, F sharp. Now we're going to appreciate the chord progression, and we will be leaning on the second beat and the third beat to help bring out a melody. Now we have the B minor here in the second position. D7, G major 7, sharp seven, I should say. Now I start a melody, lightly touching my index finger to the string like this, drawing the tone out. Now we're going to use thirds, a D and an F sharp, a G and an E, an A and an F sharp in the fifth position, and a B and a G in a set of position. But this time, when we play this combination of thirds, we're gonna pull off the, the second or the third finger to the open D string. That effect. And then we continue on to play arpeggios with other notes. Okay, so we'll start that. to the open G string. I'm working an harmonic on the 12th fret with the A note. Back to the, the, the thirds on the second and third string. Now I'm going to have thirds on the third and fourth strings pulling off to the open G string. Way up to the seventh position. Use a harmonic Open D and G strings, and I have an arpeggio on the G chord. And now I'm going to have a C sharp and a D, but I'm going to hold on to it. So C sharp, D, and E, but I let the notes ring through each other. And an F sharp and a G, and I let the notes ring through each other. And then play the A note. So when we're playing scales, instead of it going, we're having let the notes ring through each other. That's the campanellas. So we, we do that. Now we continue on with, a, with our thirds and we pull out to the open G string. Pulling off now to the fourth string. string. Now we're going to do some more campanella, starting with an E to an F sharp, C sharp and T to an open E string, F sharp, and then an A to a B, hanging on to everything as we go. Now we're back to our thirds on the second and third string. So we pull off to the open B string. A7 here, and I pull off to the open B string with a fourth finger. Pulling off to the B string with the fourth finger again. Alright. I have an A sharp and an E. Slide all, all the way up now for a sixth here with an E and a C sharp. Now we're going to have the same thirds coming down, but we play an open D and a G string with it. We're going to use our ring finger and we're going to have a bar chords arpeggio. And we have back by the bridge to do it. And now the third 
works on the starting with the second string and the third string to the open D and A strings. And now to the third and fourth string. So I'm holding down the G note on the bass. And now I have an E sometimes or a C. F sharp, C, G, A sharp, and the rest of the F sharp chord, up to an E on the fifth string. So all open. This is a D E minor seventh chord to an F sharp on the second string. Back to our F sharp chord. Seventh on the third finger on the fifth string, a B note for the melody, and then we come down to this B suspended chord to an F sharp, which we now gliss up from the F sharp all the way to the B. And we're going to do our our um, chord progression again. fourth finger down with the chord. So a rest stroke, but kept not, it's a type of stroke where you push into the string and release the tone rather than hammer across. For delicate and then as beautiful as you can make it. get to harmonic section. We're going to have a harmonic on the 7th fret, harmonic on the 12th, all open strings, so open harmonic on the 12th fret on the A string, harmonic on the 7th fret of the B string, harmonic on the G 12th fret of the 3rd string, harmonic on the 7th fret and G string, Harmonic on the fourth fret on the E string. The connecting melody, and now we have this chord that we're going to strum, which has a D, an open G, an F, an F natural, and a B. So that's a G7. An E minor chord with a G in the bass. I'm going to roll that with my fingers. So I plant them on the strings, thumb, index, middle, and ring, and I. Lightly strum now with the thumb, or I have my F sharp and a C sharp, a D and a G, and I'm going to strum it with the thumb very delicately, trying to get the flesh tone on this part. Now a C sharp. Now a light strum with my index finger on a B minor seventh chord. And now on the final chord, I'm going to go to the 7th fret. I'm going to have the 6th string, the 3rd string, and the 2nd string. And I'm going to use my nails, and I'm going to glance to the right. Kind of close by the bridge so I get these harmonics to sound. Like that. So light touch. But the glance helps me to get it and pull it out of there. Remember, you have to have length for your strings to vibrate. And since we're up here, picking back further helps us to get the right sound. So the strings can vibrate. All right, there you have some tips for Romanesca. Um, lots of color, the color of the different strings that it's involved in the piece. And the campanellas, overlapping of the strings. It's fun. All right, make it as beautiful as you can. Hope you can make some beautiful music from your heart. Take care. God bless.